six hour standoff in Hollywood that ended with a man shot and killed. CBS 4's Amber Diaz live at the scene tonight with the latest Detectives developments. Finally Amber. The man behind this mayhem is and Ruta Bay, nearly 20 hours later, and police are still on scene here at 2241 62nd Avenue, gathering evidence after chaos broke out earlier this morning. Now, while we don't know much about the man who lived here, neighbors tell, her, tell us he struggled with mental illness. On a very dark street in Hollywood late into the night, police searched the inside of cars in front of the home here on Northwest 62nd Avenue. The man who lived here was 52-year-old Lou Freysonette. Been there to the house at least two or three times in the past month. Their search comes nearly 20 hours after a violent standoff with the 52-year-old, described by neighbors as a military veteran struggling with mental illness. It all started Wednesday morning around 2 a.m. Police say Freysonette had called a local TV station threatening something big was about to happen. When cops arrived on scene, Freysonette was firing off a gun. The subject was firing his weapon both inside and outside of the residence, endangering the lives of others. Police set up a perimeter and evacuated the area. Many confused as to what was going on. The cop knocked on my door, the SWAT team. They came in and stormed everybody. You guys got five minutes to leave the house immediately. So we get out of the house and there was cops everywhere. For nearly six hours, police say SWAT and crisis negotiators tried to reason with him. But eventually the man who had dodged in and out of the home firing off rounds set his house on fire, running out where he started to shoot out with police. Officers were then forced to fire. The subject subsequently died on scene. Back out here live in Hollywood, Rick and Rudabay. Police say a total of five officers were involved in the shootout. All five have been placed on administrative leave pending an internal investigation. Reporting live, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News, tonight.